Hi, my name is Tiffany Amorsino. I am the co-founder and CEO of Bellasante Spas. I'm here today with Megan O'Brien, who's going to be our lovely model. We're entering into the summer months, so we really want to make sure that you're applying your sunscreen correctly. We're here with our skin scope from SkinCeuticals. It's going to allow us to take a look at Megan's skin underneath ultraviolet light to allow us to see what's going on with her skin, how much sun damage she has, dehydration, clogging, but we're really going to be focused today on applying sunscreen the right way. So this is the skin scope and we're going to invite you to lean into the machine so that we can take a look at your skin. Around your hairline and your nose and your mouth you can see you're lighter. Mm -hmm. Your skin there is really good. The area that's purple all you really need to do is make sure you're using a nice heavy moisturizer at nighttime and drinking lots of water. So we've applied SPF 30 broad spectrum sunscreen to half of Megan's face. You can see that it's dark purple on one side of her face. That's the sunscreen. The ultraviolet light isn't penetrating through um, as well or as easily as it did before. That gives you an idea of how much protection you have when you apply a nice a thick layer of sunscreen. One of the things about applying sunscreen is you want to apply it with your fingertips if you can. Get it nice and um, working between your fingers and then dab it all over your face. Um, you'll really want to make sure to pay, uh, pay close attention to certain areas. Your ears are one of them. Your neck and decollete are another one. Perhaps even the backs of your hands. These are areas that we very easily miss when applying sunscreen. Even around the nose and eyes, um, underneath the eyes, not necessarily around uh, on your eyelids, but in and around that area as close as you can get up to your eye. The biggest areas that people get sunscreen or get a skin cancer, believe it or not, um, is on the backs of their necks and on their ears. Um, our hair typically co uh, covers those areas, but when we wear our hair in ponytails, we go to the beach, we tend to get burned in those areas. I think you've done a great job applying sunscreen. I see what you're seeing, a couple of streaks here and there. Mm -hmm. um, and that just has to do with kind of getting the hang of making sure to apply it really thoroughly, but I think you did a great job.